Good morning, folks. This space weather blip is what we've been talking about. The sun is not showing us solar maximum. Now, yes, it's good to worry about a major flare, which can happen even at solar minimum. But we just came off the longest solar minimum in a very long time, collapsing the atmosphere unduly. And now that we need to pump back up, our star falls down. This is an electromagnetic event. There is evidence of it from the sun all the way out to the heliosheath. Humans can modify the weather but are not causing changes at this level. Links to atmosphere collapse, magnetic shield failure, and critical over-ionization of our system are directly below this video, along with a link for everything I say and show, as always. The Netherlands have seen unusual earthquake activity lately. Experts are saying it's not a fault, it's underground water. Studies are showing that sheeple will bite on whatever some expert says when it comes to climate change. Turn the television off, cousin. That ain't nothing for a girl to see. And if that didn't piss you off, how about when commercial and political influence hits the GMO debate? Article tried to appear neutral, but, well, you'll see. In a tragic update, imagine flooding has been deadly for four straight months and a group of people, roughly the makeup of Boston, just had to get up and go. In South Africa, they found a hippopotamus with anthrax. There's a mass bird death in India where over 500 pigeons have fallen out of the sky. The Fitzpatrick nuke plant was shut down during a routine maintenance testing. Doesn't sound very routine. And a plant was shut in Korea due to faulty components. The only significant earthquake of the day was an unusual five-pointer near the Gulf of Aden. That winter storm that pounded China is moving east to Japan. And the never-ending cyclone in India does appear to be weakening, but I've said that before. Europe is diverging economically, but converging meteorologically. North is cooling, south is warming, and the two will meet Thursday or Friday for some major storms. There is a very serious cyclonic low with an arm that cuts up through Australia, bringing rain and a cold front behind it. You see New Zealand is set to warm up later this week. Well-defined low on the U.S.-Canada border, forcing dry northwest air to meet warm southern air and causing a good bit of precipitation this morning. This major cell over the southeast, however, is worrisome as it is expected to hit the coast and follow the warm Gulf Stream water up north to hit the sandy zone again. Flares have been dead quiet. I bet we do get a bit more the next two or three days, however, as Mercury is set to heliocentrically line up with Uranus. The induction magnetometer is showing the effects of a weakened shield and juiced up system with a multi-frequency resonance that appears to be triggered by these fluctuations in solar wind speed and density. While these jumps are only moderate, there's usually only one or two with space weather. There's a lot here. One thing you don't see is a major speed increase from a coronal hole impact. I can't believe that dark spot didn't hit us yet. The wait continues. We also had a minor CME on the southeastern limb. Appearances say it's headed at Earth and also that it is very, very small. We got sunspots cresting the eastern limb, coronal hole streams on the way, four days until the quake watch begins and another storm headed for New England. Eyes open, no fear, it's 6 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.